Mark, these days probably won't be put to use anytime soon, but when the snow finally falls and the wind starts to blow, E-Days are another option for school officials to help keep the school year from growing due to those makeup days. So that when they come on, when they link on, they'll come over here, it says E-Day Lessons. It's a simple link on the Eaton Community Schools website. So I can go to Bruce Elementary, I can click on fourth grade. Clicking on your class brings up a list of lessons that can be completed when a calamity causes the physical school doors to close. The students will get their five, you know, hallelujah snow days, but beyond that, they'll be able to log on and get some instructional pieces in a more timely fashion, a more consistent fashion with the rest of the year. Teachers were asked to put together lessons that could be valuable no matter the time of the year. And the district looked to leaders at Mississinawa Valley for direction because that district already had E-Days in place. Neenan says having the option helps to keep learning consistent despite the weather. When the mentality says we're getting out May 30th, now it's going to be into June. A lot of the kids go on shutdown May 30th. Mm -hmm. And so the instruction's really lost when you tack the days on the end. What this provides is an opportunity to have the, the instruction kind of remain consistent. Now, all of the work completed during an E day will be graded. That's required by the states, and students will have two weeks to turn their work in. Reporting live, I'm Holly Samuels, 2 News on your side.